Now, this is where your spirituality comes into play for you. I create my reality through my thoughts. I always think in abundance. Now, on today, this is day two of our seven-day little sprinter that I'm doing. I used to call it something. What did I used to call it? Uh, marathon. I think I used to call them marathon. So this is day two. And I'm reading some affirmations that are inside my affirmation guide, Police Your Thoughts, each day. And each day also deals with a specific element of life. Uh, yesterday was health and wellness, I believe. And today is your mental and emotional life. Your mental and emotional life. And so that first affirmation is one that is a standard affirmation that you can really lean into. I'll repeat it again. It says, I create my reality through my thoughts. I always think in abundance. I remember a specific time, my gosh, when I heard the Holy Spirit ask me, did I love myself? Now, this was a time where I was going through some things in my previous marriage. And I answered, I said, yes. You know, I love myself wondering why this question is being downloaded to me. And I heard the Holy Spirit clearly say, then why do you think thoughts that hurt you? And it was in that moment that a literal light bulb clicked on the inside of me and I understood that I had the power to control what I thought. My goodness, my gosh. Because most of the time, we someone did this to me or someone did that to me. And yes, those actions can warrant certain behaviors, but you have the authority, authority, I'm getting excited, to, to shift those things around, right? So that they serve you, so that those thoughts serve you. So that's one of the affirmations. And inside the affirmation God, now the affirmation God is like the forerunner to She Prospers Mastermind, which starts on September the 8th and September the 7th is the last day to join. I don't think I said the last day to join on the previous one, but the affirmation God is like the precursor. The She Prospers is where you get to put all the stuff that's in between where you are and what you're saying into alignment. So inside the Police Your Thoughts Affirmation Guides, one of the chapters is on the power and purpose of affirmation. And so I listed some of the things that affirmations are used for. And the first one that I listed is overcoming bad habits. Listen, when I tell you, so powerful. What happens is you, you have this place that you are and then you have this place you desire to be. And in between that is the gap, the becoming, what it's going to take to become that person that can actually operate at that level. And oftentimes, guys, almost automatically, I'm telling you, my gosh, my gosh, some of those habits that you had that were not conducive to, you know, your best self, they start falling off. You begin to like literally overcome them. Now, Mental and emotional life. This is a segment or the element that we're on for today. And I'm giving you a few affirmations from the affirmation God that you can lean into. So here's one. I think the best. This is your mental and emotional life, right? I think the best and am always prepared to shift my mind to thoughts of greater possibility. That's one to stand on. Because we understand that things will happen, but in the midst of that, where you may have thought in a way that's not necessarily mentally or emotionally healthy for you, knowing that you have the power and you're always prepared to shift is important to embody that particular affirmation. Uh, let's find another one. Oh, every good thing is within my reach. Do you know that stuck is often because a person doesn't have a vision bigger than where they currently are? That's mainly what stuck is. When a person feels stuck, it's because they don't have a clear vision 
that's bigger than where they currently are. Which goes back to embodying this particular affirmation. Every good thing is within my reach. Often stuck comes from a place of, I don't know what to do. I don't think it's going to work. All of those things, it's not possible. But if you're embodying this particular affirmation, every good thing is within my reach. It's a win-win for you. It's a win-win for you. Here's another good one. I release things I cannot control and attend to the things that are within my power to change. Now, if you followed me for a while, you know I have this affinity for the serenity prayer. Something you got to look up online if you're not familiar with it. But this kind of helps to stay in alignment with that same prayer. I release things I cannot control and attend to things that are within my power to change. Let's find maybe two or three more and then I'm going to let you guys go for today. Oh, this one's good. I give myself permission to reinvent myself. So many people... I mean, it's easy to do, and I keep saying so many people, but a lot of times I'm just teaching from my own stuff, from things that I've already overcome, okay? <laughs> or I know someone, like most of the things I teach are within arm's reach of something that I've either experienced, someone I know, a client who's experienced it. So when I say so many people, I can include me too, okay? So um, I give myself permission to reinvent myself. Oftentimes when we've been, I'll use myself as an example, I was a wife for 14 years. When it's time for something like that to dissolve, you have to really figure out like who you are because roles can change in life, right? But who you are and your assignment, those things don't change. And most people feel they lose their purpose when their role has to change. And they say, stay stuck in an identity that no longer serves who they are now or who they desire to become. So great affirmation to just embody is, I give myself permission to reinvent myself. Like it's never too late for a fresh start and that reinvention is not only possible, but sometimes it's completely necessary. Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna make this my last one. Gods, there are over 130 or more affirmations and there's also an opportunity to create your own um it's kind of a workbook you can print it and fill things in it's, it's really cool it's a great again precursor to the the mastermind but um oh this is the one that i wanted to read so that i could kind of expound on so i am grateful for all my blessings and in expectation of even greater now, this is a twofold affirmation. If, I, if I'm teaching this affirmation, I would teach it as twofold. Number one, I believe that gratitude is one of the greatest elements or tools that you can add to your life, especially if you feel stuck, you've had downtime, something isn't going well. Gratitude is a different vibration, a completely different vibration. It opens, I want to say your portals. I know y'all, you know, some people get a little spooky with all that stuff. But listen, guys, this is the stuff we love learned in the sixth grade in biology, science. <laughs> okay? So gratitude just brings about a completely different energy. It opens up creativity. There's something about the vibration of gratitude that calls things into your life. And then that second part, because first you are grateful for all your blessings and you can't be sad and grateful at the same time. So it's a great principle to use at any time. You know, you can get in the practice of creating five things you're grateful for every night. Keeps you in a beautiful vibration. Um, and the other part was, and in expectation for even greater. It means that although you're so grateful, you understand that there's more for you. You understand that there's abundance and you're an expectation for that. Because if you're not in expectation for it, the likelihood of it happening, yeah, it just gets a little slim. It gets a little slim. Guys, that's my take on today. Um, just reading some affirmations. We, of course, do affirmations inside She Prospects 30 Day Mastermind, but we also talk about universal laws and feminine energy, and we uncover some of your limiting beliefs. And if you'd like to have support and to have someone to walk you through those things for you personally, 
not just speaking to you over the audio, but where we can really talk about your specific situation. And sometimes uh, what happens is you'll find that certain words resonate differently for you. And this is why we have space to be able to create affirmations as well. But again, the last day for that is September the 7th. We are reading from my Police Your Thoughts Affirmation Guide. That was day two. And I think I remembered the word, day two of the marathon. <laughs> so we're going to do this for seven days. And um, I'll be back on tomorrow, day three of the affirmations. So that you can see how those affirmations feel to you in your body. Not, oh, I've heard that before. How does it resonate to you in your frequency? That's my take. I'm Tanya Wolf, Master Life and Business Coach. I operate from a three-point perspective in my business, abundance mindset, personal growth, and business building. Peace and abundance.